So let's go ahead and see how the production process is going to work for us. And production is just a really fancy way of saying that, hey, we're gonna take some inputs, our resources, our factors of production, and then we're gonna use those resources into some type of production process in order to convert it into some type of output, a good or service that we as consumers want within the economy. So here, as we see before, we have our four factors of production, land, labor, physical capital, and technology, entrepreneurship ideas. And when we take these four resources, sources right here we place them into some type of production method and out should hopefully pop out an output or good or good or service that we want within the economy so here as we can see this is entirely how the production process is going to work for us and we can go ahead and see exactly how this is going to come true or how this is going to come to fruition for any business or any firm that we have within the entire country. So one easy one to go ahead and take a look at is go ahead and take a look at a business that we have here on FIU. So here, let's go ahead and take a look at the production process example. Production process example. And once again, we're just going ahead and seeing how we've gone through the three questions that every economy has to ask for itself or every form of corporation has to ask for itself into the factors of production and to finally the production process. So let's go ahead and take a look at a particular business here on campus with Panther Tech. Panther Tech at FIU. So here, this is going to go ahead and say, hey, this particular business that sells uh, technological goods, they sell computers, laptops, tablets, they also provide some type of technolo uh, te technological services as well here on campus. And we can go ahead and break down each of these four factors of production or resources and see exactly how it is going to provide us with this particular service and good that we as consumers or students want here at campus. So let's go ahead and take a look at land. What do you think would be constituting land for Panther Tech? If we want to be a little bit more general, we can just say, hey, why not FIU campus? The FIU campus. If we want to get a little bit more specific, we can just say, hey, in GC, I mean, in the Graham Center, this particular place in the Graham Center, this is going to be cons uh, constituting the land for Panther Tech. So nothing too in-depth regarding land. How about in terms of labor? Who would be considered labor for Panther Tech? This would be the employees, and they have all sort of different types of employees there. They have the sales staff, sales staff, so the people that try to get you to buy something that you might not, not, might not necessarily want. We have the sales staff there. We also have the tech employees, so tech employees, employees, so the people that are going to go ahead and fix your computers or fix your laptops, that type of thing. So anybody that's actually working there is going to be uh, constituting the labor. We can also put the managers in there if we wanted to as well. What's going to fall on, under the line of physical capital? Physical capital. So physical capital, remember, these are any manufactured goods that are going to be used to produce our final good or service. So this is going to include things like the cash register. Cash register. So they need a cash register to go ahead and make sure that they have the right amount of money. They need a credit card machine to make sure that their pro that their payments are going to be processed. We can say, hey, what about the tools? The specific tools that the tech employees need in order to fix your computer. That's absolutely going to be seen as a piece of physical capital. And we can also say, how about the uh, we can say the chairs. We can say the tables there. All seen has a piece of physical capital. We can also say computers as well under here. And it's important to note that the computers here, these are not the computers that the store is going to actually sell to us. They're the computers that the people that the labor is going to use in order to track the pro to tra track the pro uh, purchase orders, track all the sales. So these are the computers that they use themselves and not the ones that they're going to be selling to us. So that's a very important differentiation that we need to make there. The Final good, the final service are the computers, laptops, tablets, or the services that they provide. But the computers here, they can also find themselves under the physical capital, the, the specific ones that they actually use. And then finally here, we have ideas. So ideas, technology, entrepreneurship. Who do you think is, the, is gonna fall under ideas here? And we can say, hey, maybe the administration, the students, but we can just in general say whoever had the idea. So whoever had idea, whoever had idea, to bring this to FIU, to bring this to FIU. So they determined a need. They said, hey, students probably want some type of tech services and tech uh, sort of sale or uh, tech, uh, tech products here on campus. So whoever had the idea to bring this to FIU, they're the ones that probably would fall under this idea of entrepreneurship. 
ideas technology. And as you can see right here, with the right mixture of these resources, these factors of production, we get a final good or service that we as consumers want. So here, Panther Tech at FIU, a very good example of the production process. And they actually do fairly good business. They're actually pretty busy every time I pass by them. So it's a good it's a good thing that we actually do have this sort of store here on campus. It is certainly doing a lot better than what used to be there a few years ago. If you can believe, uh, we had a GameStop on campus just a few years ago, and I never really saw anyone on campus go into that store. I mean, it sort of makes sense given that they're pretty close by to the piano room and the type of people that play video games there, but GameStop pretty much didn't really have anybody in there. They didn't have a lot of sales, which is probably why they got rid of it, and they put in this Panther Tech here at FIU. And we can do this sort of production process example for a whole bunch of other businesses. We can do it for Pollo Tropical. We can do it for uh, Golden Touch Haircuts. We can do it for Santee Nails. We can do it for every sort of business on campus, also in the entire country. We just noticed that the mixture of factors of production, the resources right here, are just going to be a little bit different because our the final good that we are taking a look at is also going to be different as well. But essentially, this is how the entire production process is going to work. We have the right mixture of goods and services. We identified a need that consumers want, and we're going to get this final good or service that we are going to go ahead and consume. So with this idea of the production process, we're going to be able to build up our idea of what is going to be considered efficient production processes and our very first model with the production possibilities frontier, the PPF, in the next lecture.